Hey everyone, Lenny Bonds here from Purposely Pixel. And today we're going to discuss the Pixel Buds Pro. Okay, so when I heard the Pixel Buds Pro was being announced, or they were announced on Google I.O., I was pretty excited for a few reasons. I'm a Pixel Buds A user and formerly a Pixel Buds user previous to that. Now I love my Pixel Buds A, I love the sound quality, I love the call quality, I love the comfortability. But one thing that always disappointed me was battery life. Now I'm a letter carrier for the United States Postal Service and with battery life they only offer two and a half hours of talk time and five hours of music listening time. Obviously you could use the earbuds individually so you could get more usage out of it that way. But when I'm on the route, I rather not have to switch earbuds or anything like that. And verbal communication is big for us because we could speak to other carriers or supervisors and everything because our hands are always tied up with the mail packages, etc. So when I heard these, and I heard what they were offering, I was very excited to get them. Now, I'm not gonna do like a formal unboxing or anything, but I'll just let you know that the Pixel Buds Pro, they come with um, changeable earbuds. So I'll show you real quickly. Take this out. This is a tube here. They, uh, the standard earbuds on the Pixel Buds Pro are the medium. And then inside this little tube, you have the large and you have the small and you have a startup guide. And that's pretty much the unboxing. You don't even get a USB um, C cable in the box. So now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about the Pixel Buds Pro. As I was saying, I was very excited about it because of the additional features and it's more premium now from the Pixel Buds A, although at a higher price point, but I think it's very well worth it for what you'll see you get. So the Pixel Buds A, these right here are the charcoal. That's my preference. I think black goes with everything and it just stands the test of time, so to speak. I like the other colors, which is a cooler coral, a fog, a charcoal and a lemongrass. But for me, you know, charcoal or fog would have been the choice. Actually, the fog was sold out. So I went with the charcoal. I wanted the fog to match my Pixel 6a and as well the charcoal does as you can see goes well with it so let's talk about it the pixel buds pro are ipx4 rating right here so sweat and water resistant but let's not get fooled the case is only an ipx2 so please do not drop the case in anything i mean you might survive you know, a couple of seconds and pull it out real quick, but it's only an IPX2 for the case, IPX4 for the buds. It also has fast pair. So what I just did, flip it open, your phone will show, um, connect to Pixel Buds Pro, and then you just go through the motions, which is excellent. Don't have to grow, go into your Bluetooth settings, search for a device or anything like that. That's a feature that's been on AirPods and uh, the Pixel Buds has adopted that feature also, so that I like. It's also a Bluetooth, Bluetooth 5.0, excuse me. So battery on these things is well, one of the most exciting things I had, and I have to say they live up to what they're talking about. So let's talk about the battery. The battery with ANC off is 11 hours of listening time and 31 total hours if you use the charging case. With the ANC on, you get seven hours of listening time and 20 hours with the case. You also have fast charging. So for a 15 minute charge, it'll give you an additional three hours of listening time. So that's one thing I was very excited for because I need that out on the route. My route's five hours long, so the seven hours covers it and I'm good as long as I could go home and whatever. Like I said, you could uh, use both earbuds individually. So you could put the left in or the right in and you can interchange. And that's what I do, obviously, for safety reasons when I'm out on the route. But I 
do love the fact that, you know, I don't have to change and I can use one earbud for the day. So let's talk about some of the features, right? We have ANC, we have a transparency mode and we have a normal mode. So the ANC is pretty good. I'm not an audio audiophile, but it does block out the noise. And obviously, if you have the right seal in your ear, depending on the earbud you use, if you need a small, a medium, a large, it even helps the situation even more. But when I turn on ANC, I could hear it go into effect and it pretty much just blocks out a lot of noise, especially if the music's playing. Transparency mode is decent. I hear things around me, not as great as I would like. A normal mode is just basically, you know, if you bought a pair of earbuds, you put them in and you don't have any choices, that's the way it would sound like. But the ear seal is what really gives you um, the better noise cancellation overall. And they also have an option inside the device itself to show you um, that it has, that it could actually test your ears to see if, you know, you have a proper ear seal, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's capacitive controls, so you can control everything with these earbuds. Control volume, you could pause, play, skip to the next track, go to the previous track, um, touch for ANC, touch for normal mode, touch for transparency mode, and you could set that all up inside the actual application that they have. Sound quality, once again, I'm not an audiophile, but I'm gonna tell you how it sounds to my ears, which is excellent. That's one thing I love. I, I, I think the sound is balanced. I hear the low, mids, highs. Call quality is absolutely excellent. I've had the Ga Galaxy Buds 2, and for some reason, it always seemed to muffle maybe when I'm sweating or where the mic is as compared to the Pixel Buds, the other carrier, Pixel Buds Pro. The other carriers would say, wow, it's like a, a world of difference in terms of actual call quality. Sound quality on the Buds 2 were very good. These, I think, are even better. It's just a nice, clear sound with a nice amount of bass. Like I said, treble, uh, highs and lows. I really enjoy the sound on that. Uh, we have USB-C charging here, and we also have wireless charging, which is a great feature for me. So let me turn this on, show you that it charges wirelessly. Let me make sure this is on. Oh, there you go. As you can see, it just lit up. So it has wireless charging, which is a nice added feature also. So that's something else I truly enjoy. And overall, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I love the case, it has a nice click, has very strong, as you can see, magnetic connection. It's just overall an excellent um, pair of true wireless earbuds, in my opinion. These go for $199. You could get them on the Google Store site, probably Amazon, Best Buy, etc. Um, if there's any other questions you would like to know about this, please hit me up in the comments below. This is Lenny Bonds from Purposely Pixel. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. And thank you for watching.